Hello guys, welcome to another video of the R Programming Full Course by Analytics Guru. In this video, we are going to talk about sorting. That means how to sort a data in R. Sorting means like arranging a data uh, from ascending to descending order with respect to a column or from a descending to ascending order with respect to a certain column or columns. Okay. When we do it with respect to different columns together at once, we call it multi-level sorting. We are going to come to that. For now, let us uh, focus on ascending and descending sorting separately. For this, we are going to use the previous data frame we, that we used in the previous videos. Uh, the name, age and sex, that is the student data frame. I hope you remember. In case you don't, just go through the previous videos. We have told you how to create a data frame. I have executed the code for the data frame. This is how I do it. These are the vectors, name, age, and sex. And this is the command for writing, uh, for forming a data frame. And I have named the data frame as student. So this is the data frame as you can see, name, age, and sex. Now I want to carry out an ascending sort on the data frame based on the column age. That is, I want to sort the data set in ascending order of age. That is, the data will be sorted with the age arranged from the lower value, from the lowest value to the highest value. Okay, so this is how I write it. The name of the data frame first, third bracket open. The command to sort a data set is order. Remember, the command is order. This is how we sort it. We write order, first bracket open, student dollar age. In the previous video, I mentioned why it is necessary to mention dollar because to refer to a certain column, we first mention the name of the data frame that is student in this case then a dollar sign, we put a dollar sign and then we put the column name as it is. And then the we close this bracket, sorry, we put a comma and we close the third bracket. Now, as you can notice, this entire command, this order command is in the left hand side of the comma. That is, it is in the row. It is actually on the row side. If you remember, the left hand side of the comma refers to rows and the right hand side of the comma, that is this portion, refers to columns. So we are basically carrying out the sorting operation on the rows. If you want to ask why, it is because when we are sorting our data with, with respect to a column, we are actually sorting it according to the row values. We might carry the operation out on a specific column, but the values are represented through the rows and it is basically a row operation. So the entire command takes place in the row side of the structure that is on the left hand side of the comma. So let me execute this line of code. See, let me tell you this part, it is just for inserting comments. It has got nothing to do with the code. Even if you don't write this hashtag ascending sort, the code is going to perform fine. So now I executed the code and see, the age has been arranged in ascending order, starting from the lowest value of age that is 5 to the highest value of age that is 56. And it has been arranged and the rest of the columns has got arranged according to how we are arranging the age that is from ascending sort. Okay. Now we want to carry out a descending sort on age. The same way, it is the same way we write student, the name of the data frame, third bracket open, the same command order first bracket open. To carry out a descending sort, we just have to give a negative sign before student dollar age. Okay. When we give the negative sign, it automatically means descending sort. All right. Let me execute this line. See, the order of the age has got reversed. That is, it is beginning from the highest value and ending at the lowest value. And the rest of the columns have got arranged according to how we are sorting the age. That is in descending order. Alright, now these are all numeric data, age, this age is a numeric data. What happens when we try to carry it out on a character, that is suppose on sex, we try to sort on the basis of sex, we write the same command student, first bracket, third bracket open, order student dollar sex. Now remember the default is ascending order. Okay. If we do not mention anything, the default is going to be ascending. 
So when I execute this line of code, see, it is uh, happening in the order in which the alphabet occurs in the, uh, it, is, it is happening in alphabetical order basically. Since F comes before M, so the female is getting arranged first, then comes the male part. And we sorted it on the basis of sex, on, incre on basically ascending order of sex. So the females are going to be arranged first and then the male is going to come the second. Okay. Now what happens when you try to descending sort it? That means we want the males to be to come first and then the females. We put a negative sign, suppose. If we put a negative sign, see what happens. There comes an error. So R doesn't recognize descending sort of character the same way we try to do it with a numeric data column. Okay. So for a character data, you cannot use the negative sign for descending sort it descending sorting it for that there are several there 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 are different methods okay to do that the command is student the name of the data frame third bracket open you have to write rev rev means reverse you have to write rev first bracket open order student dollar sex bracket close comma this is how you exactly write it okay you may try it out right now just write this line as it is written here all right so this is how you write it the order command remains the same and then i execute it see it has been arranged in descending sort of character that means the males have come first and the female has come second and this is descending because in the alphabetical order m comes after f so when we descending sort it the m is going to come first all right there is a second method of doing this descending sort on character we do it as this line we write student this line okay we write the name of the data frame first third bracket open order first bracket open student dollar six then we write with a comma decreasing equals to true this is the line you need to write decreasing equals to true all right then the rest of the code just as it is do not consider this line this is just for inserting a comment for your simplicity all right when i execute this line of code you have to write decreasing equals to true which means it is going to give the alphabetical pre alphabetical order a reverse uh, value preference okay that means the male is going to come first that is the m the later values in the alphabet is going to come first so I execute this line of code see the same thing is being shown the males have come first and then the females and the rest of the columns have got arranged according to the sex column all right now let us come to multi-level sort what does multi-level sort mean till now we sorted the data frame according to only one column we performed an ascending or descending sort on a single column and the rest of the columns got arranged according to that what if we want to carry sorting, carry out sorting on two columns simultaneously. Well, how to do that? That is called multi-level sort. Now remember, suppose we want to sort sex and age together at once. All right. Sex and age together at once. So what R does is that whatever we write first, the, suppose we write student dollar sex first in the comma, in this bracket. And then we write student dollar age. Let me delete this negative sign. Let me show you a more simple form. What happens? Then we write student dollar age when the second position. So what R does is that it first sorts the sex column and then according to the sex column, it sorts the age. It will be more clear when I execute this line of code. This is how you perform a multi-level sort guys. I execute this line of code, control plus R. See what has happened. See very, very cautiously see. Uh, since I didn't give any decreasing equals to true or anything of that sort, it is going to give to, uh, preference to the alphabetical order. And that is why F is going to come first. And the sorting has been first performed on the sex column because we write wrote student dollar sex first and then we wrote student dollar age. Now see what happened. The females have been got have got arranged. The F has got arranged first. All the F have come together at once since they are same. And then the M's have come. Now, you can see here, consider this portion. 
only the female portion female block you will see 5 9 43 44 51 it is absolutely ascending it is ascending but then again when the male block begins this male block you find that right after 51 comes 12 17 22 29 20 56 so when you separate it and consider it as two separate blocks of male and female each you find that for the female the age has got arranged in ascending order and for the male also the ages have got arranged in ascending order but when you consider this entire data frame together at once you find that it is increasing from 5 to 51 that is from in the female block but then from 51 it took a fall to 12 and then again it went to 56 that means what that means this is very crucial you need to understand it very properly okay what that means is that since we are giving preference to sex first, we are sorting the sex column first. All the data related to the sex will get sorted. Alright? The sex will get sorted according to the alphabetical order. And then within this section, within the female section related to the, to the sex, the age is going to get sorted. Then the male is going to come. Since the male, the, this uh, M comes after F. The, the ascending sort of age will take place separately within the male column. So the sorting is happening, the sorting of the age is happening separately uh, respe with respective to the sex columns. Alright, so first the sex column gets sorted, it gets segregated into a female block and then comes a male block and then since the age comes after that, we wanted to sort age after that, what happened is that the age for the female is getting sorted according to the ascending order and then for the age for the males is getting sorted according to ascending order. So they are completely separate. It, the age at one glance might not appear to be arranged in ascending order but when we consider each block we find that the age is arranged in ascending order for the each of the blocks that is each of the sexes separately. This is the beauty of multi-level sort. It actually gives preferences to the so the, the sorting of the second or the third column de actually depends on the first one. So what, whatever we put on the first one, whatever sorting we do on the first one, it actually influences the sorting of the rest and they get arranged like that. Alright, guys, so this was it. I hope you understood the concept. It is fairly easy, but sorting is a very, I would say, useful tool when you want to, in data analysis basically, in data analysis and data science, sorting is a very useful tool. So I hope it was clear guys. In the next video we are going to talk about tidyr package. It is a very important package in R. You can't do without tidyr package. So we are going to discuss about that. So guys please subscribe and like this video guys. Don't miss out on it. Bye.